Okay, she's a star goddess. Okay, so I promised you guys I was going to make a video when I was doing my scrying mirror. And this is going to be it. So, I'm going to put you down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I'm just going to speak while I'm doing the craft. So, <clears throat> I've already cleaned my glass from my picture frame. And I did a test. Okay, so here's my picture frame. It's black. You should choose something really pretty or ornate that you can keep on your altar or your table or your working table. And something that, um, or a nice frame that is um, fitting for a scrying mirror. Um, I chose this frame because it's black and it's shiny and it's really ornate and beautiful and it looks magical. Um, I got this frame at Ross for like $4.99. Okay, and they have those frames a lot of places. So, I was so busy and I forgot to actually um, go out and buy the spray paint or the acrylic paint. <clears throat> so, I'm going to use nail polish, y'all. Okay, I have some black nail polish. And as a backup, if it's not opaque enough, I have this black fabric to put behind the glass as well after it dries. So, I've already done a test on the uh, glass to see how the nail polish looks and it looks great so I'm going to go ahead and continue because um, I have this on hand so I'm going to use it I always like to use things that I have on hand instead of going out and buying new things because you know why not <laughs> okay so scrying mirrors are for divination for meditation purposes and um, communication with spirit. Um, the reason that you paint it black is because you're going to look into this, the reflective surface of the mirror and you're going to envision or you're going to drift off or daze off into this. Um, some people use candles scry some people use regular mirrors but as long as long as you can like go off into a daze by staring at this you can use it for scrying I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it out and just so the reason that I want to make a scrying mirror is because I have used the flame for scrying on a candle already and it works very well for me um, I want to try this method because I have not tried this before so I want to be able to use all methods of scrying to see the difference and whatnot um, so this is actually coming out pretty good with the nail polish and very opaque and very shiny so it will probably look like a black mirror um, I don't really like to spray paint things because I have to go outside and it's windy. Um, so I was gonna buy like regular acrylic paint, but this works even better actually. And it probably, it's gonna take some time to dry, but um, <clears throat> so a lot of people who have used scrying in, the, in history, Nostradamus used scrying when he wrote all of his writings and prophecies and whatnot. Um, A lot of magicians use scrying to um, promote astral travel as well. Okay, I'm just going to let this dry. And, get... and scrying is, a scrying mirror is basically new. Um, most people have just used bowls, black bowls of water to um, scry in. Uh, a lot of witches use their cauldrons and just fill them with water to scry. Um, sometimes you can go off into different dimensions and worlds when you scry <clears throat> and this just helps you to put your focus onto something other than what's you know going on around you so while this dries I want to um, talk to you guys um, just I'll just do a friendly vlog here. I'll put this up here. Um, so, 
After this dries, I'm going to put it in here backwards. This part's going to face the back so that all you get is the finish on the other side of the glass like this. See? Um, it's kind of see-through, so I might have to go over it with another coat. You see how you can see through it. But that is why I have this black cloth to go behind it in the frame so that anything that's see-through will not come peep through. Oh, that rhymes. Okay. I'm going to probably go over this with another coat. Okay, so here is the back of the painted mirror. And here's the front. So you can see it's very reflective, but you can still kind of see through it a little bit. So that's why I have this black cloth to put behind it. So that it totally looks black. See? Much better. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to take the frame. Okay, everybody knows how to put this back into the frame. So I'm going to take the frame. And just put the glass in there. And make sure the cloth covers the back of that glass. It's not sticking to it, so I guess it's pretty dry. Um, and I just dried it with a regular fan while I was making my video. So, I didn't cut it precisely, so I'm going to have to fold it a little bit. Okay. okay. That should do it. Let's see how this turns out. There. You have to make sure it's very clean before you paint it because you don't want any like glitter or lint or anything underneath the paint when you flip the mirror. So this is the scrying mirror. It's black. It's reflective. I think the nail polish worked beautifully. Now I just have to clean it with some Windex and set it on my working table and altar or altar, whatever. Um, so yeah. <coughs> Frame, paint, or nail polish, black cloth, if you don't feel like waiting hours for the paint to dry, and you have your spoon. Okay, well I hope y'all enjoyed this two-part craft video. Um, I might put it together as one video, so if, if this is just one video, ignore that. If not, and it's two parts, great. Um, it just depends on if this one, if my computer wants to take this off and create one long video out of it or not. Technical difficulties. We are in retrograde and it does have some effect on technology, so we shall see. Y'all like my cup? Okay, well, thank y'all for watching. Blessings. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions. If you're going to try the craft that I made, the black scrying mirror, comment below. Um, you know, I would love to, to, um, to see how yours turned out. 